guys, me again. Um, I come to you in this video with a review, a manga review. I have not done a manga review before, so yeah. I am going to review Fruits Baskets, the complete series, because I finished it recently and was just thoroughly um, wowed by the whole thing. Um, I really, really enjoyed the reading experience. Um, and I would like to, more than anything, recommend it to you guys because I think it's a five star manga series. So, Fruits Basket is a 23 volume shoujo manga. Um, shoujo manga demographic is usually aimed at YA readers, young adults, teenagers and females. However, I've read a lot of shoujo manga and I think Fruits Basket is definitely, definitely one that can be appreciated by both genders. It transcends gender stereotypes. Um, I really don't think that's a fair category to give it, so don't be put off by the idea that it's a shoujo manga because it has a lot to offer. Um, it's not just romance. Um, in fact, that's a very small part of it and I really think there's something there for everybody. Um, it's also the first manga series I ever started reading. I used to watch a lot of anime when I was younger and I watched the Fruits Basket anime which only goes up to about a quarter of the series and um, it doesn't go any further than that so of course after watching the anime I wanted to read the manga I wanted to know what happened to these characters after the points in the story the anime had left off so I started from the beginning again which was good because they had missed things out in the anime and I got to about volume 9 or something and then I stopped reading it for a while. Um, it's just life, you know. Um, so I stopped reading it for a while and I picked it back up um, a couple, a month or two ago and started reading it again and finished the entire series because once I got back into it, I was hooked and could not put it down. It's one of those stories that I know this phrase is kind of overused on YouTube, but it does make you feel all the feels. It, it conjures a vast array of emotional responses, which you might be surprised about from essentially a cartoon or a comic strip. Um, it's a really wonderful story. Um, now, the basic plot line is um, the main character is this girl called Toru Honda, and she, her mother has recently passed away. She was already raised by a single mother because her father had passed away when she was much younger. And she um, goes to live with some family, gets chucked out essentially, and is now living in a tent in the woods. Um, and one of her classmates, um, Yuki Soma, finds her in this tent and invites her to come stay with him and his uncle in um, their house. Um, and she accepts, so what are you going to do? Live with one of your classmates or live in a tent? Obvious answer there. Um, so yeah, she goes to live with them and she discovers, this is all in the first volume, don't worry, she discovers that a certain number of the Soma family, um, when embraced or hugged by the opposite sex, turn into an animal from the Chinese zodiac. So, like, the rat or the um, horse or one of the other animals. Um, so yeah, there is a curse on the Soma family which means that so many of them suffer from this affliction. And yeah, and then the story ensues from there and I don't want to tell you any more because obviously that would be spoiler. So it is got a certain element of fantasy definitely. So it's quite magical and incredibly imaginative. I think it's a really great concept. I really love this idea. Um, so it's, it's very imaginative manga. It's also got a lot of themes of family and friendship and r different types of relationships. Um, you get to see all of these relationships. You get to see almost the characters creating their own families because you see the problems where say like Yuki and the Somas have a problem with their large family whereas Toru at this point ha really has no family left um, yet she finds, a fa she finds family within her friends and the Somas and yeah you get to experience that, it's really lovely there's lots of cute little anecdotes and messages and mm, moral tales almost but just nice little ideologies in it and um, Obviously this is originally in Japanese, so something, sometimes, occasionally, things don't come across 
quite as eloquent I would imagine as they do in the Japanese but nevertheless I think it's still very well written and very pleasurable to read as well as look at. Um, the art, I wish I had them on me but I do think the art really changes from the beginning to the end and um, you can see the manga artists um, style progresses throughout the series. At the beginning it's a lot more cutesy, a little bit amateurish and by the end it's it's exquisite. It, it really really does develop and I think that's really interesting to see as well and sometimes you don't notice because I kind of had to look back and think I was sure this looked different originally when I started reading this and looked back and was like wow it really does. Um, so that was nice and I think the art is gorgeous and it gets even more lovely as the story goes on. Um, although lots of it is quite light hearted and like I said loving with lovely messages there are dark moments, there's dark moments in this series that there was, there was a couple of moments where I welled up, there was some really sad moments, there was some moments that made me really angry, um, again like I said all of the emotions. It wasn't just a simple manga, it had a lot to offer in its little storyline and yeah you also got to see the characters experience high school because it goes through the three, three years they're at high school, that's the period the manga covers. So yeah it goes over three years of these characters lives and you get to see them grow and change and also interact with the curse and what happens there in a more magical sense. So yeah, I think I've covered everything. I really love this manga and all I just wanted to do was recommend it to you and I hope if you read it you really enjoy it too and yeah, um, let me know your thoughts if you've read it. I will see you all again very shortly. Bye!